I'm Todd Grisham, and welcome inside the Lighthouse Theater. And what a night, and what a fight we expect this to be. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters, this is just one of those things. It's time now for our tale of the tape. It's Daniel the Miracle Man Jacobs, 183 centimeters tall, weighed in at 73 kgs with a reach of 100. Here comes the Miracle Man, Daniel Jacobs. He's had epic battles with Canelo Alvarez. And it's no wonder they call him the pride of Wales, Joe Calzaghe, a two-weight world champion who was never beaten. A legendary battle with Roy Jones Jr. as well. It's going to take something special to knock this man off his perch. I'm so excited for this fight. There is no... This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of box. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. This is the fight of pride. Oh. Is... You're expecting an all-action slugfest. Both men step back for just a moment. Misses with that jab. That left counter was perfectly timed. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice job landing that left counter punch. fitting stage for this grudge match. This theater has seen a lot of drama over the years, but perhaps none more compelling than this. God, I've got to give it to the promoters to pick this place. Every ticket is like gold dust. You cannot get these tickets. So if you are in this venue, you are watching this fight, trust me, we're lucky to be sat here. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. He just misses with that jab. Left counter scores. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Punch, counter punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Perfect counter lands. He is down big time on the score. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're getting it. Kitchen sink. Here we go. Round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's seen her. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Why aren't they defending? Counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. Pretty close fight here in this round. Nice exchange here from both men.
missed him with that uppercut. And he misses with the left uppercut. the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. At this point, you got to believe he can't win on the scorecards. Going to need a knockout. Well, absolutely exhausted. What are you going to tell him in the corner? Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come right now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. told us yesterday if he doesn't win by knockout he doesn't consider it a real victory that's the mentality he has a win is not just a win for some fighters they need to feel the blood the crunch they need to get that win and this with that jab a little bit closer than I think a lot of people thought. And he just missed with that left jab. And he misses with that jab. And these middleweight type of fights, Johnny, you're obviously not going to see the speed you see in some of the the lighter divisions, or the power you see in some of the heavier divisions, but you sort of get the best of both worlds. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour weight is the heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace, you can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. Do you know the amazing fights with a middleweight are oh, ridiculous? That is what writes our history books. And a lot of punch output, like thought there would be uh, them, some more action here. To a close. Wow, it was like two different leagues. for round four. After that last round, something has got to change. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around us. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to sort of watch out, box the fight and beat them on points. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. through the round and it's pretty much even Steven. He misses with that jab. That punch lands. Oops. 
So there you have it. It is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.